Okay, friends. Uh, today uh, we will talk about how to graph linear equations in two variables. An equation which looks like, you know, x plus two y is equals to three, or something like, you know, x minus three y is equals to minus 5. <coughs> so, something uh, we need to understand is that a standard linear equation in two variables looks like y is equals to mx plus c. <coughs> and it is a standard and very known form, form of equation which we call as a slope intercept. form and why is it called slope intercept form is because this equation which relates y with x using two key things which is one of them is m which is the slope of the line and this c which is called the intercept in specifically y intercept and what does it mean uh, to have a slope and a y intercept. Let us understand this. <coughs> so, if we uh, draw a coordinate system and you try and you know create any line, let us say something like this. <coughs> this line definitely has a certain rise to it like it's not it's it's not horizontal it is making a certain uh, inclination with the x axis and the y axis of course now <clears throat> the measure of this incline is measured in is evaluated in terms of what we call as a slope of this line and the slope which is denoted by the alphabet M is measured as the amount of <coughs> rise between two points as a ratio of the amount of horizontal you know <coughs> displacement between the two points. So, let us say if we take one point A and another point B over here and with the usual coordinate system you can mark origin as 0 comma 0 and this is 1 and this is 2 and on the y side it is 1 2 and 3 so the between a and b the amount of vertical rise is this much which is 2 units and the amount of distance you or travel horizontally between the two points A and B is also two units. Then the slope M is defined as vertical rise over horizontal distance. That means how much units you rise up which is two in this case and how much units did you travel horizontally that is 2 again. So, the slope is measured as 1. <coughs> now, that is the slope part of it. What about the y intercept or the c value? c value is measured as the distance from the origin along the y axis positive or negative where this line cuts the y axis. So, in this case this line cuts the y axis at a point here which is 1 unit above the origin. So, the positive c becomes 1 or a positive 1. That means your line which is represented by this graph is, is can be represented as y is equals to m which is 1 x plus 1 or you can write it as y is equals to x. You can simply ignore the 1 coefficient here and 1. So, 
this e this line is representing the equation y is equals to x plus 1 simple enough <coughs> so let's understand if you are given a certain line how would we draw the graph of it so x plus 2y is equals to 3 let's note it down here <coughs> first we need to write it into a form where you can you know put the terms with y on the left in fact you can isolate y on the left and write it as mx plus c so if we were to do the same here so it would be y is equals to negative x plus 3 and i have to divide by 2 so it would be negative 1 by 2 here and 3 by 2 here so this is the standard form of the equation which is the slope intercept form now with this in picture let us understand how we can graph it so again we'll draw the coordinate system and mark the x and the y axis <coughs> and comparing uh, this equation with the standard form we get the slope of this line is m is equals to minus 1 over 2 and what does that mean that for the slope of this line if you were to travel one unit down and two unit horizontally along the positive y that's how you would end up you know defining the slope of it but in this case in order to make a start we first need to see where is this line going to cut the y-axis and as you can tell it is 3 over by 2 which is the value of c or 1.5 so positive 1.5 would be somewhere here so that's the point at which the line would cross the y-axis so from here if you want to draw a slope of minus negative 1 over 2 that means from here i take one point one unit down which would be like going all the way here so one unit half here and half above the origin that would be one unit down and two units to the right that means one unit two units so somewhere here so one of the points is this point and the other point is this point so you have two points on the line and you can draw the graph of this by connecting these two points and I'll adjust it a little bit so that it looks more accurate and that my dear friends is the <laughs> graph of this equation which is y is x plus 2y is equals to 3 so any graph with a negative slope would be pointing going down and any graph with a positive slope like a 1 or a 2 it would be rising up and that is very self-evident indicator that the slope is positive when you are going up from left to right and slope is negative when you're going uh, from up to down going left to right so that that is how you would be able to graph any solution uh, any equation and as I told you we can and this is the process by which we can even write the equation of a, a given line represented in a coordinate system if you would like me to you know uh, discuss some more concepts on any topic related to maths <coughs> just write me up in the comments and uh, i'll be more than happy to work something out